Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to make great looking thumbnails for your YouTube channel using Google Drive, more, specific, more specifically Google Slides inside Google Drive. So let's get started with these simple steps right now. So I'm just going to be working from a demo account today. And remember, if you have a YouTube account, you have a Google account, your Google apps, you can use for free. So take advantage of it for this. So I'm going to go up top here to my Google apps launcher, and I'm just going to go into my Google drive here. So when I open up my Google drive, I'm going to create a folder in here where I'm going to store my thumbnail. So how I do that, I'm just going to right click and there's different ways you can do it, but I'm going to right click in this one and I'm going to just go new folder and I'm going to call this thumbnail here. Oh, and by the way, I'll put a different uh, video out how to create channel art using the same thing uh, that I show you here. So I'll put that in the cards above or in the links down below if you're interested in that too. So now I have this folder uh, already created. I'm going to go in it and this is where I'm going to create my Google Slides from uh, because it will stay nicely organized in folders. So I'm going to right click on this one and I'm going to go to Google Slides and I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go from blank presentation on this one and then I'm going to make some adjustments here. So Google Slides open up. Uh, the first thing is uh, I'm going to make sure I have the right size on this one. The, actually the size the 16 to 9 ratio would fit pretty closely uh, to this one. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and make an adjustment to show you how you make adjust adjustments to this. And I'm going to turn this to pixels. I'm going to go up top to file and I'm going to go to page setup. And you can see how it says widescreen right here 16 to 9. I'm going to go to custom I'm going to turn this to pixels right here. And this is where I put in my 19 to 20 by 1080p here. So I hit OK. And you can see it kind of looks like the same, uh, the same proportions, but now we're in the right size with the pixels on this one. So the other thing is I can do is I can delete. If I didn't want these text boxes here, I just have to click on the edge or hit delete on these ones. If you ever wanted a blank one up here, I could hit click on blank down here, if I hit that little drop down arrow, you can see it creates a brand new slide. I could go back and delete. I'm just right clicking on different ones now and I have a blank slide. So I have it the right size. So let's start putting things in. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna name this example thumb here. So there's my example. I just wanna make sure everything's getting saved. So if I click on Google Drive, Notice it's right here. So if I just refresh this real quick, you can see example thumb. It's already saved and everything in your Google Drive. So at this point here, I'm going to start by just inserting some text. So if I want to insert some text, I could have wrote, written in what they had before, but I can insert a text box. So if I just draw it out here and I'll just say, I'm just going to call this thumbnails here. Uh, on this one and on this. So I have it very small though, but I can go to this and uh, double click and select this. I can pick a different font. Let's pick, I'm going to pick just uh, Oswald. You can see I have a few different options. I'm going to go with bold. I'm going to make this a lot bigger here. I'm going to go all the way to 96 and I'm going to change this to maybe a red color. You can see all the different options that you can do if you wanted to underline it. So it gives you a lot of options to get the right font that you want. Uh, I'm going to just shrink this a little bit. I don't need this box this small. I can move it all over the page here wherever I want and I can rotate it around to change the angle. So if you ever use something like Canva to do uh, to do your thumbnails, Google Slides can work very similar to, similar to that one too. So that's one way to insert my uh, text. The other thing I can do if I go to insert, I could go uh, over to where it says word art and I'll just, if I clicked off it, I'll do that again, word art and I'll write YouTube here. Hit enter and I have YouTube. Now I can again go to this and I can change my font. I'll do you uh, to impact this time. I can move this around. I can rotate it. I'll put this baby up here, get a bit more angle on this. Uh, you can see as I click on it, I have some different fills that I could put. Maybe I want this black with a white back uh, white around it. You can't see it very well because it's on white and I can actually change. Maybe I'll change it to three. Still can't. But what I can do is I can change the background. So you can see backgrounds right there. So I click on it 
and you can I could go to a color so if maybe if I wanted to go to color and now you can really see the uh, the stroke around the YouTube the other thing I could also do if you didn't want it's just a solid color maybe you want to do a picture in the background so go back to background you can see I can choose a picture so I could upload take a snapshot by URL I'm gonna go to I'm just gonna do a search on this one because since I'm in my demo account I'll type in maybe I want mountains as my uh, background and I'll just click this one right here hit select hit done and now I have these mountains in it so I can put images uh, very easy to add all this the other things I can do, look at all the insert options that you can have from uh, your diagrams. Maybe you want some shapes here. So if I go ahead and pick maybe this rectangle, I'll draw this out. So you could put it across your whole bottom. So maybe you wanted to write something in there. I could write something, uh, again, I can change the color to anything that I wanted in this. So if I uh, wanted it, maybe I'll just pick a color of blue and I can write on top of this. I can take this and maybe I want this down here. Notice that the order is wrong. All I have to do is right click on it. And if I go to order, I can bring to the front. So you can have your layers and put things on different uh, tops uh, of it. So it's really easy to manage whatever, how creative you get on your thumbnail, you can bring it in. So I could bring in more things like pictures. So I have my insert. If I was going to put insert uh, image, I'm, I don't have any to upload right now, but I'll just search the web and I'm just going to put dog and I'll just pick this one right here and I'm just going to drag it over and I have this dog in here. So if you wanted more pictures in here and I can do all the same things, I can resize it. I can, we have crop up here that if I wanted to maybe adjust the size, the size of, of it a little bit, I can hit enter. The other thing I like what you can do, take a look beside the crop. We have image mask. So if I wanted it inside a different shape, I can do that. So you could have that right on your thumbnail going through all those different things. So lots of great options to get everything really effective on it. The other thing I like doing is you can just go over, maybe I wanted this picture. I could go ahead and copy this image and just paste it over here and I have it inside very, very quickly onto my thumbnail. There's some more ways to add some quick effects to all your images and your fonts too. If I go ahead and click on this, look up top where you have format options. When I click format options, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna close this one here first. So I got format options and this is open. Notice I can add some, if I wanted to quickly recolor, go ahead, click on it. You can see I can recolor it. You can open these up where you see those little arrows to uh, make any adjustments to it. So it's like transparency. I can reset things on this so it will bring back the adjustments to it. I could add drop shadows just by clicking on it. If I wanted to drop shadow a little bit further away uh, from it, oh, not transparency, maybe distance, you can see how it moves, or maybe I wanna add a reflection to it. So all these things you can quickly add. If I click on this, notice I have the format options too. So just more adjustments to get your, your YouTube thumbnail looking the exact way that you want to uh, want to have it. So when, uh, when you're all done this and you have everything in place on your thumbnail, you're gonna wanna download it. And so to do this, just simply go here to file, download as and if you whether you want a jpeg or png i'll just do it as a jpeg here so i click on jpeg and it's going to download and i have this picture i click on it open and this is what i'm going to upload this file that's downloaded on my computer now i can upload to my thumbnail in place on youtube if i look over into my thumbnails inside my folder that i made here it is uh, this is my google slide so maybe next time to speed up I, maybe there's a template that i've created and i just go and alter a change and i make a copy each time so i can populate all this with all the different thumbnails that i can go back and maybe make some quick adjustments too and this is all free and it's stored right inside your google drive that you get automatically uh, with your google uh, with your gmail account uh, that you have so remember i am going to put together another video just going over channel art using the same process so check that out uh, either down below in the links or in the card up above in the right hand corner i hope you like this tip today if you have tell some other people maybe it can save them some time or some money thanks for watching this week and i'll see you next time